There was this thing that we started saying as fans of the game. Yeah. Give Olisa the ball. Run into a market and we'll find you with the pass. Yeah. And when we're playing and we're looking for goal, and we hear the fans saying, oh, we are saying give us more goal yeah. and Olisa is on the bench. We don't care whether you want to bring on a striker. Yeah. We don't care who's on the bench. But please, bring Olisa. We know he will find uh, Agawa, he will find Martins, he will find Yakub, whoever is running in front of him, whether it's Yakini. Who helped develop that thing in you? Because there's a role of coaching. Football. Yeah, we play street football. We all played it. Yeah. But there was something refined about your game in the Junior Panamucano mood, in the Andre Pelu mood, Javi and Iniesta short passes, but there was just something refined about your game. And we don't have it anymore. Who developed that part of the game? The, the passes side I always had even when I was in secondary school. In fact, I grew up as a number 10, not as a defensive midfielder, wow. you know. But when I got to Europe, my qualities became polished out of desperation. It's not because I wanted to, you know, broke it. You know, Nigeria responsibilities to cater for, but when you know you come you in... You find yourself in Europe, you don't want to go back. You yes, have to make you it. you have to make it. And, and, the, and the worst part is that you, as a foreigner, you don't get a lot of help. Like, hey, this is how you should do yeah. it. No, no, no. Yeah. So, so you have to look at others, how they're doing it. And I was always thinking, I have to find something to do better than the man that's there. He doesn't give the passing, I give it. They can't shoot hard, yeah, I shoot. So sometimes you do extra training, you know, and things like that. It was actually born out of necessity. Necessity, out of necessity. You know, I agree with him because something did happen, you know, when we came back from the under-17 in 93. You know, I remember when um, this guy, um, Andre, the uh, manager then came to take Celestine and Moby to Belgium. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, and then... Um, that was the first time ever in life I and Celestine were going to be separated, right? Okay. Wow. And then this other guy comes and he said, oh, you know what, Emmanuel, convince Celestine to come to France and you can come with him. We had a drama at the airport. You know, at the airport, it's the first time Celestine would ever be, because I was like his guardian. To this moment, I was his guardian and mentor. And he was crying. I said to him, you know what, you need to go to Belgium. Ah. He says, no, I want to come with you. Why are you sending me away? I said, you need to go to Belgium. He says, why do I want to send him away? I said, no, listen, we are from Nigeria. We're from the ghetto. We're suffering. Mm -hmm. For me, it is better to have one comfortable person in our family who is in Europe no, no. than two uncomfortable people sitting yeah. in France and <laughs> yeah, family yeah. still suffering. I am very certain, I am more certain about your venture in Belgium with Anderlecht than I am going to France. Because this guy, you are the card going to France, not me. True. And there's this uncertainty there. He looks at me, I say, so you know what? You need to go to But He refused. At the end of it, I say, you know what? You have to go or else we'll all die of hunger. So he went to Belgium out of necessity as well. So I, I totally... Mm -hmm.